A quantum dot single photon source is based on a single quantum dot placed in an optical microcavity. It is an on-demand single photon source. A pulsed laser can excite a pair of carriers known as an exciton in the quantum dot. Due to the discrete energy levels, only one exciton can exist in the quantum dot at a given time. The decay of the exciton due to spontaneous emission leads to the emission of a single photon. It is a non-classical light source that shows photon antibunching. The emission of single photons can be proven by measuring the second-order intensity correlation function. The line width of the emitted photons can be reduced by using distributed Bragg reflectors DBRs. Additionally, DBRs lead to an emission in a well-defined direction. History With the growing interest in quantum information science since the beginning of the 21st century, research in different kinds of single photon sources was growing. Early single photon sources such as heralded photons, that are reported in 1985 are based on non-deterministic processes. Quantum dot single photon sources are on demand. A single photon source based on a quantum dot in a microdisc structure was reported on in 2000. Sources were subsequently embedded in different structures such as photonic crystals or pillars. The addition of DBRs allowed emission in a well-defined direction and increased emission efficiency. Quantum dot single photon sources need to work at cryogenic temperatures, which is still a technical challenge. Topic: Theory of realizing a single photon source. Single photons are extracted out of a semiconductor by spontaneous emission from the decay of a single excitation. Inside the cavity spontaneous emission is increased due to the Purcell effect. The challenge in making in a single photon source is to make sure that there is only one excited state in the system at a time. To do that, a quantum dot is placed in a microcavity fig. 1. A quantum dot has discrete energy levels. An excitation from its ground state to an excited state will create an exciton. The eventual decay of this exciton due to spontaneous emission will result in the emission of a single photon. DBRs are placed in the cavity to achieve a well-defined spatial mode and to reduce line width broadening due to the lifetime delta t display style delta t of the excited state C fig 2. The system can then be approximated by the Jaynes Cummings model. In this model, the quantum dot only interacts with one single mode of the optical cavity. The frequency of the optical mode is well defined. This makes the photons indistinguishable if their polarization is aligned by a polarizer. The solution of the Jaynes Cummings Hamiltonian is a vacuum Rabi oscillation. A vacuum Rabi oscillation of a photon interacting with an exciton is known as a exciton polariton. To eliminate the probability of the simultaneous emission of two photons it has to be made sure that there can only be one exciton in the cavity at one time. The discrete energy states in a quantum dot allow only one excitation. Additionally, the Rydberg blockade prevents the excitation of two excitons at the same space. The electromagnetic interaction with the already existing exciton changes the energy for creating another exciton at the same space slightly. If the energy of the pump laser is turned on resonance, the second exciton cannot be created. Still, there is a small probability of having two excitations in the quantum dot at the same time. Two excitons confined in a small volume are called biexcitons. They interact with each other and thus slightly change their energy. Photons resulting from the decay of biexcitons have a different energy than photons resulting from the decay of excitons. They can be filtered out by letting the outgoing beam pass an optical filter. The quantum dots can be excited both electrically and optically. For optical pumping, a pulsed laser can be used for excitation of the quantum dots. In order to have the highest probability of creating an exciton, the pump laser is tuned on resonance. This resembles a pi display style pi pulse on the block sphere. However, this way the emitted photons have the same frequency as the pump laser. A polarizer is needed to distinguish between them. As the direction of polarization of the photons from the cavity is random, half of the emitted photons are blocked by this filter. Topic. 
Experimental realization A microcavity with only a single quantum dot in it is built. The DBRs can be grown by molecular beam epitaxy MBE. For the mirrors two materials with different indices of refraction are grown in alternate order. Their lattice parameters should match to prevent strain. A possible combination is a combination of aluminum arsenide and gallium arsenide layers. A material with smaller band gap is used to grow the quantum dot. In the first few atomic layers of growing this material, the lattice constant will match that of the DBR. A tensile strain appears. At a certain thickness, the energy of the strain becomes too big and the layer contracts to grow with its own lattice constant. At this point, quantum dots have formed naturally. The second layer of DBRs can now be grown on top of the layer with the quantum dots. The diameter of the pillar is only a few microns wide. To prevent the optical mode from exiting the cavity the micropillar must act as a waveguide. Semiconductors usually have relatively high indices of refraction about N3. Therefore, their extraction cone is small. On a smooth surface the micropillar works as an almost perfect waveguide. However losses increase with roughness of the walls and decreasing diameter of the micropillar, the edges thus must be as smooth as possible to minimize losses. This can be achieved by structuring the sample with electron beam lithography and processing the pillars with reactive ion etching. Topic: <laughs> Verification of emission of single photons. Single photon sources exhibit antibunching. As photons are emitted one at a time, the probability of seeing two photons at the same time for an ideal source is zero. To verify the antibunching of a light source, one can measure the autocorrelation function g 2 tau A photon source is antibunched if g 2 0 2 g 2 tau tau for an ideal single photon source g 2 0 equals 0 display style g caret 2 0 equals 0 experimentally g 2 tau display style g caret 2 tau is measured using the hanbury brown and twiss effect Devices experimentally exhibit values between g 2 0 equals 0 0.009 display style g caret 2 0 equals 0 0.009 and g 2 0 equals 0 0.024 Display style g caret 2 0 equals 0.024 at cryogenic temperatures. Topic: Indistinguishability of the emitted photons. For applications, the photons emitted by a single photon source must be indistinguishable. The theoretical solution of the Jaynes Cummings Hamiltonian is a well defined mode in which only the polarization is random. After aligning the polarization of the photons, their indistinguishability can be measured. For that, the Hong O Mandel effect is used. Two photons of the source are prepared so that they enter a 50 to 50 beam splitter at the same time from the two different input channels. A detector is placed on both exits of the beam splitter. Coincidences between the two detectors are measured. If the photons are indistinguishable, no coincidences should occur. Experimentally, almost perfect indistinguishability is found. Topic: Applications. Single photon sources are of great importance in quantum communication science. They can be used for truly random number generators. Single photons entering a beam splitter exhibit inherent quantum indeterminacy. Random numbers are used extensively in simulations using the Monte Carlo method. Furthermore, single photon sources are essential in quantum cryptography. 
The BB84 scheme is a provable secure quantum key distribution scheme. It works with a light source that perfectly emits only one photon at a time. Due to the no cloning theorem, no eavesdropping can happen without being noticed. The use of quantum randomness while writing the key prevents any patterns in the key that can be used to decipher the code. Apart from that, single photon sources can be used to test some fundamental properties of quantum field theory. Topic: See also Single photon source Quantum dot Optical microcavity